Hello, Scorpio viewers. I'm going to look into your situation, see what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Just see what the cards have to say. I do also have a raffle going on, so if you donate a dollar, you get a raffle ticket. And then um, on the 22nd, I'm going to be choosing a winner for a free in-depth uh, private video reading. So my cash app and PayPal info is below. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading, my in email and all my info is below too for that. All right, so what's going on in your situation? to come out too. What was that one? Traps, blocks, tied up. Let's see what someone's coming through. Dreams, visions, and telepathy. I do feel like a very psychic energy for you guys right now. I don't know if it's you or your person, but I just feel like a very spiritual kind of psychic energy around you. Maybe you're really telepathically communicating with your person right now. That could be part of it. Okay, so we have trapped, blocked, tied up, dreams, visions, telepathic communication, isolation, loneliness, emptiness, loyalty, stability, vows, shyness, and fear of rejection. So it's like someone's feeling alone, but they're, the telepathic communication between you and your person is really strong right now. So they're trying to get through this energy. They're trying to push through this energy that's kind of kept them uh, trapped. Oh yeah, and then we have, can you guys see that? Oops, sorry lower those a bit so you can see and we have risk reward bold gesture we got listening and understanding so yeah again a very spiritual energy around this connection right now new perspective um, true love and abundance flows to you now as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and bravery. Pause, reflection, rest. Open and honest communication, message. So somebody is wanting to message and they're really thinking about it. They're kind of pausing and reflecting on what they're going to say in this message. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Willpower, strength, and confidence. Oh, can you see that? No, you can't see that. I'm going to put that. Where am I going to put that? I'm going to put that right there. I kind of feel like somebody tried to move on from you or they tried to focus on other things, but they can't because there's a really strong psychic connection here. Like this is either your twin flame or your soulmate. Um, and I feel like they just, they try to move on and it's like you guys have dreams about each other or they're having dreams about you. Um, you know, if, if they're showing up in your dreams, there's a good chance that you're also showing up in their dreams as well. I think that there's like a strong psychic connection here. It could also be that you guys just never cut these cords, you know? Well, that makes sense in this context. Okay, I'm seeing what that means because look, you see she's got this red thread in her hand, and I always see that as like the astral, um, like telepathic red threads that connect us to people we're close to. So it's like you're still picking up on this person's energy, and they're still picking up on yours. So you guys can never really get over each other. Um, even if it were a karmic, it's like there's something here that like keeps repeating. It's like you guys just come back to each other. It's like you can never... You guys might go long periods of time without talking, but it's like sooner or later one of you caves and reaches out. Um, you guys are kind of like trapped in this connection. Not necessarily, I don't know if it's a negative thing, but like there's just a lot of psychic energy here between you guys where it's like there's like telepathic communication here. Dreams, visions, you know, again, they might be dreaming about you. Is this somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time? Oh, sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just, just <laughs> got my arm in front of the camera. This is somebody that you haven't talked to, okay. Yeah, for like pretty much almost all of you, like 95% of you, this is somebody that you have not talked to in a long time, is what I'm getting from this. They're feeling isolated, they're feeling kind of alone, they're feeling kind of empty. I think they're feeling kind of lost too, because it's like they can't, 
get past you. Like, even if they feel like they're over it, and this could be somebody, like, that you did. I'm not saying for all of you, again, if this, this is either your story or it isn't, and there's going to be certain messages that are for specific people, so if this one thing doesn't resonate with you, you know, just ignore it. But for for some of you, I think that maybe you did, like, a love binding or some kind of, like, love, like, love ritual on this person. And so you guys can't get over each other and you don't understand why because the love isn't really there anymore. And so in that case, you probably want to cut these cords because it's like it's run its course and you're just forcing something that's not natural anymore. You know what I mean? And it's like you guys don't really want each other anymore, but you're just stuck together. Um, for most of you, though, I feel like this is probably just like a soulmate or a twin flame. And... Um, you know, you just, again, you, the telepathic communication, like the, the dreams, the visions, feeling your energy, the synchronicity is really strong with your person. And so it's like, they can't really just get past that connection. Cause it's like your guides are constantly reminding them of you. And so they, it's probably vice versa too. And so it's like, you guys can't really just get past each other. You know, they're feeling alone, empty, they're not sure why they can't shake this. And they're wanting to come back in with like loyalty, stability, making a promise to you, making a vow, being more solid. They are a little bit afraid of rejection here. But I do see them choosing you. You know, I do see them wanting you. Um, I think they're taking time out or they've either just taken time out and they're coming through with a message now or they're currently taking time out. But like to like pause, reflect and rest and kind of think about what to say. Like they're trying to come in to this connection with a new perspective, like listening and understanding and see understanding your viewpoint, um, being more open-minded. Maybe they weren't open-minded to the spiritual in the past. Maybe they were not open-minded to soulmate or twin flame relationships or whatnot. And they're trying to be more open-minded. They're trying to listen to you more. They're trying to understand you more. They're trying to come through. They're trying to just step back and, and really embrace this new perspective so that they can come forward with um with a message you know open and honest communication here they're wanting to message they're wanting to reach out they just I feel like a very gentle energy from them like they're trying to embody this gentle energy I don't know if you guys like fought in the past or if there was just miscommunication or what it is I'm not sure maybe maybe it's just a coincidence but for when I get from this group it's like your person is really trying to embody this gentle sweet loving energy before they reach out, they want to make sure that they say the right thing. Um, and they're trying to, to, you know, get the willpower, the strength, the confidence to, to, to do that, to come forward, to take a leap of faith, to choose love over fear. And they are wanting a new start with you. They know they want adventure, honeymoon, vacation. They, they want this new start. What happened in the past with you guys? Yeah, manipulation, deception, codependency, addiction. And your guides might have intervened to get you out of that because they're like, you know what, this person isn't isn't treating you right. They might have pushed them away or vice versa. Like something was going on here where it's like there was like some kind of codependency here or some kind of addiction to something and some kind of manipulative, deceptive type energy. And I think in the past your guides, you know, pulled you out of that. And now your person is trying to do better and they're trying to, um, you still, so it's a psychic connection because you guys are still tied together. That's the thing is you still have these red threads that are really strong. And like that, like I'm saying for some of you, I think, I don't want to say it's a soulmate and twin flame for all of you. Cause I think for some of you, it could actually be a karmic that you did some kind of, um, love binding on. And again, don't, if, if you didn't do love binding, that's fine. It's for a few specific people this isn't this reading isn't just for one specific person this reading is for you know it's a collective group that I channel that the collective group of people that are drawn to this video so there's going to be specific messages I get for specific people that are watching so if it's not your message then just just leave it be but um for some of you yeah you did like a love binding and this this connection is just was just a karmic so it that's the situation is either it's a love binding I think and it was just a karmic that you weren't able to let go of or this or this connection just doesn't go away because they're a soulmate or they're a twin flame so for those of you that like did a, like a love binding it's like you have this you guys have this codependent connection here um 
And that's why, you know, they're still having dreams about you. You're still having dreams about them. It's like the love isn't there anymore, but something about the connection, it's like you just have those red threads that you haven't cut. So it's like you can't really let go of each other completely, you know? Um, for others, I feel like, yeah, like it, for others, I feel like it's like a soulmate twin flame or something like that. And it's like, again, you just come up in their dreams. And so they just can't really they can't really seem to let it go and they're wanting to message they're wanting this new start with you because they're kind of almost frustrated because it's like they can't move on from this and it might freak them out a little bit because they maybe they weren't open-minded to the spiritual before either that's another thing i keep getting for this group what is the most likely future course for you guys make your mood green light yeah them coming forward talking to you most likely, again, yeah, passion, romance, the connection is still there. Um, the emotions are still there. I do sense frustration, though, because it's almost like they're like, why is this person sh showing up in my dreams? Like, the feelings are there, but they're also like, like, they feel almost like bound to you. You know what I mean? Finances and career. So when are both of you focusing on finances and career and, um, hmm. What do I want to make of that? <laughs> Could be that they might, for some of you, they might tell you that finances or career or whatever was going on in their life is a reason for their stagnation and complacency and a reason they couldn't commit before. And maybe they're doing a little bit better now, so they have time for this passion and romance. What's the most likely move that they're going to make towards you over the next few weeks? Spying, watching you. Trying to figure out if they still have a chance. Trying to figure out, yeah, what to do. Wanting to send a message. Wanting to come through with apology, regret for um, for letting you go. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Like letting you know that, you know, they belong with you. They want you. Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. So maybe like, like a quick shift towards you, you know. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. Yeah, this is probably someone, this is, I feel as this is an ex from the past. Because um, for a lot of people, I'm, I keep getting like new love coming in. I'm sure you probably do have love coming, new love coming in because I'm getting that for almost every Zodiac that I channel. But for you guys, I feel like this is, um, like I feel like this is probably somebody that, this seems like somebody you have a history with, this specific spread that I'm doing here. Um, and they're, yeah, they're wanting to, to be assertive and forward and courageous and, and come through. There might have been some, like, betrayal, jealousy, conflict, anger, miscommunication in the past. How do they plan on remed remedying that? Choosing a path, choosing to do better, making an effort, trying to do right by you. Sadness. I think they're aware that they caused you a lot of pain in the past and they're spying on you. Maybe they're noticing your post about if you're posting that you're sad. They might be noticing it. Hesitation, mixed feelings. Yeah, they're not sure if they have a chance with you still. But they do see you as their happiness, their warmth, their light. Maybe missing the past, missing being social, going out social events. Um, you know, so that's that's kind of the story. That's where we're at right now as they are. They just feel so bound to you. Like, you just keep showing up in their dreams, like, telepathically, like, visions. It's like there's this deep psychic connection here. And, um, yeah, they're just, they're not even sure what to do next. They're not even sure how to, they know that they can't shake it. So they're wanting to come forward and kind of figure out what this is, like, what's going on here. So thank you guys for watching. And, again, you know, I have that um, raffle going on. So if you want to donate just a dollar, it gets you a raffle ticket. Your odds of winning are, you know, fair, pretty good. I don't get that many donations, so so even just a dollar, your chances are pretty good. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and subscribe if this resonates, please. Thanks.